No words can express the sense of loss we feel as a result of this terrible tragedy. He had a lifetime of opportunity ahead of him. As educators, we, we lost him to violence before we had a chance to help him realize his true potential. Forgive us. Forgive us for our negligence. Will this speech ever end? I don't even know who this Aragaki guy was. I heard he never came to school. Probably just some punk. Anyway, I gotta get home. I have to study for my mock exam. Hey, you guys know who Aragaki is? Wait, you're not seniors, so how would you know? Anyway, can you believe this? Scary, huh? Damn, what's your problem? Shut up. <clears throat> huh? What are you doing? I said shut up! Iori, sit down. <laughs> Just ignore them, Junpei. <laughs> Hey, have you seen Akihiko Senpai today? He was absent this morning. I wonder if he'll show up at all. I hope he's okay. Can I talk to you for a moment? Oh, sure. When you get back today, please meet me in the lounge. You know what it's regarding. Yeah. I don't expect you to have collected your thoughts. And I'll see you then. It's about Ken, huh? <sighs> This'll be a fun meeting. Yeah. Yo. I had the usual for lunch. Ramen tastes a lot better when you're cutting class. Make sure you invite me next time. <sighs> Say something, will ya? Why are you always like that? You're so stubborn. Put yourself in my shoes for a change. You think it's the other way around, huh? I guess you're right. I was too obsessed with power. Ever since I lost Miki, that's all I've cared about. I thought that if I was strong enough, I could protect anyone. But I was wrong. And now you're gone too. I'm such an idiot. In battle, there's always a chance of dying. I knew that. But I was so focused on fighting that I didn't notice anything else. It didn't matter how tough I was. Look what happened! <laughs> Crying won't change anything, will it? All right, Shinji. You watch from there with Miki. I still have things to do, right?
I know that much. I can't carry this guilt forever. I'm getting tired of it. You all know the reason we're gathered here. We need to discuss how to deal with Amada. I've already consulted the chairman. Igis, bring Amada here. Understood. It's my fault. When Shinjiro Senpai told me he'd be late, I thought it was strange, but I said nothing. If only I'd listened to my intuition. Don't be so hard on yourself, Fuka. It's not your fault. If anyone should have realized it, it should have been me. I knew this wasn't a game. But I never thought it'd end up like this. There's no point dwelling on the past. Shinji's last words were, this is how it should be. He was a hell of a guy. He even faced death head on. That's why from this day forward, I'll face things head on too. That's cool, man. Senpai. Hmm. Allow me to report. Amada-san is not in his room. He's not? There are indications that the window has been pried open. Ken-kun! Wait, Fuka, do you know where he is? Well, no. But we can't just let him go off on his own, right? So where do you plan on looking? I don't know, but we have to find him. He must feel so alone. But how? Where? You of all people should understand. Fuka. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I'll let Ken do bringing him back won't change anything. And we Akihiko. It's his choice. He's the only one who can decide how he's gonna live his life. The same goes for all of us. 